Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a massive week of content coming this week, the EAFC 24 Ultimate Team, and I want to get you guys ready and invested so we can prepare ahead of time for potential big SBCs that could be coming this week to be able to make some coins and just be prepared for when they drop, right? We're going to cover all things market today, investing, talk about that big player of the month, SBC, and as well, look at the new Evolutions content and everything yesterday what seemed to go down on the market once again because everybody was selling cards to go and do the brand new Hero Upgrade Pack SBC, which did drop as expected. But we have cards like Antoine Griezmann and other meta cards that are now at the same price as fodder. Another day, another market crash in this game. Will it turn around today? We'll talk about that as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the fun stuff. Well, kind of fun stuff. Evolution yesterday, a singular evolution released triple threat attacker. People are very excited for this man right here. Sobaslive finally enabling... Uh, a card to be evolved. EA enabled his card to be evolved finally. Plenty of evolution so far and he hasn't been available to be upgraded. He's probably the most popular one out of this evolution. The best part about this is it's, what is it, five games? Play three squad battles and then win one and win two, but you can kind of combine those at the same time. So it's technically five games. Guys, five games of squad battles to get a solid plus three overall, plus five pace, five shooting, two passing, five dribble, and two physical, and including the power shot, press proven, and technical play styles on a card. I think if I was going to do somebody from my club, I might do, I don't even know who I'm going to do. I thought about doing uh, Sobosly. I've got him in the club, obviously. I've got some informs. Um, I don't know. I, honestly, for this one, guys, I think unless there's somebody that you want to do right away, Playa is very popular. Sobosly is very popular. Surge Nabry, Mason Mount. These are the most popular cards for this evolution. But this might be one, guys, that you might just wait on because it does cost 50,000 coins. And maybe there's going to be an inform card released here in the next like, week or two or a promo card in the next couple of weeks that would fit this evolution that would maybe... Be better so i think this is one we've talked about it before where sometimes it's better to wait to get an evolution and figure out who you're going to do until a little bit later down the line and that might be the sort of thing you want to do with this triple threat attacker it's unlockable within 20 days which means it's still going to be available by the end of the month we're going to be in december almost or we will be in december by the time you'll have to unlock this uh evolution so in my opinion maybe it's one that you wait on and guys once again we have to say Whenever we have these leaks for evolutions, we had it with like the Wambasaka and a lot of these other cards, not as much uh, for this attacker evolution, but just a reminder to you guys, sell in the hype. If there are leaks and prices rise for cards before an evolution, sell in the hype, please, because almost every single time now when those evolutions are leaked beforehand, the prices end up going down afterwards now let's talk about SBC content that was where the big stuff was yesterday triple threat trio. EA loves everything in like sets of three right now because of triple threat. This was one that we did not expect to see. It's got the SBC players inside of the SBC, right? The main attraction is for Lon, the triple threat hero card, four star, four star, high, high work rates, power shot, play style plus. It's actually not that big of an upgrade over his regular hero card. And this SBC is a little bit pricey. In my opinion, guys, if I would do this SBC, maybe if I needed the Atletico Madrid links, I would just look at doing the Santos for the 86 rated squad and the Hermoso for an 85 rated squad by themselves. And then maybe you end up crafting the, the extra 83, 87, and like 88. It's the 87 and 88 SBCs to get the Forlan that are kind of like... It's a bit expensive, but if you're running Atletico Madrid links and you need Hermoso or Santos, they're not bad cars. Santos has Finesse Plus. Hermoso's got some good play styles on his card as well. It just comes out to be a little bit pricey at about 600,000 coins to do. Um, but, you know, Forlan is decent. I was actually lucky enough to pack him in the base hero upgrade yesterday. That was my, my pull from that SBC. I also had another really massive pull yesterday, but it wasn't. From that SBC, uh, this is the big one though, right? This SBC right here is the one that's making things go crazy. The base hero upgrade it was dropped as expected and cheaper than expected as well. Only an 85 rated squad to get this done. And fodder prices went bananas, specifically the 85s. Now you're like, wait a second, Nate, these are back to 7.5k? They are. This is looking like a great investment once again because look, these guys were like the same price or like more expensive than what they are right now earlier yesterday when we were investing in them right i bought 85s last night at 7.4k on bid 7.3k 
all these cards were at eight and a half to nine thousand coins for that quick hour after content and now they have come back down with people opening their weekend league rewards those tradable packs being opened it's looking like another solid investment opportunity because people are going to continue to do that hero pack during the week this week who didn't get it done straight away because that is an SBC that will have a lot of demand so i'm liking the 85s right now but we'll talk about some more fodder later now how else did this impact the market right your lower rated fodder i think it was only 84s and 85s that really moved it was 85s that moved the most and guys the rest of the market is getting absolutely destroyed really quick cheeky plug as well we opened a bunch of those hero packs on the uh, second YouTube channel. We opened them on stream, uploaded that to the second YouTube channel. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link at the end of the video. So check that out there. Uh, because guys, a lot of the hype with this SBC yesterday was the pack luck was actually very good. Like, I'm not just saying that because I got a good pull, but like we opened, I don't even know, maybe 15 to 20 of them on stream. And yeah, we had our occasional cards like Kanu, um, like a Dudek, like a couple Donovans. We had a couple of those, but we were consistently hitting players like Smolarek. Uh, we hit a couple, I think we hit two food trays. Um, or maybe it was just one, but we were hitting some really solid cards. And I know that for any of you guys that didn't get a good pull, it's like, nah, man, this SBC sucks. But consistently yesterday from what I was seeing, this SBC had a really, really good like pack weight percentage for being an 80,000 coin SBC. We say all the time, right? The cheap upgrade SBCs usually have the worst pack weight. This is 80K and it seemed like one of every three was a card that was like 200K or at least 150K plus. That's really, really good value. So if you haven't done this SBC, I would consider trying to do it or crafting it during the week with upgrade packs or something because it was really, really solid. And since it was really solid, what else happened, right? The market completely got destroyed uh, as a part of that. Take a look at it. Usman Dembele card who's even out of packs. This guy's got an inform in packs. He went from 63k to 47. Like what? There's so many people panic selling these cards right now. His inform. Inform Usman Dembele went from 380, 370 down to 330 where he is now. And oh boy. Yeah, it's not just in packs cards. It's the out of packs. Harry Kane, 250. His card yesterday was 298, all the way down to 250,000 coins. I picked up a Musiala as well. I wasn't trying to buy only Bayern cards. What? 487. Guys, these prices have continued to drop. Take a look at this. He was for 580K. He's down 100,000. Can I go afford one of those? Can I buy another one? I might forego buying a couple more cards and just go buy a Musiala because, like, bro, what? Like, that is an insane price. That is crazy. I have one. I bought it at 520. He's 480 right now. Yeah, his cards may be a little overpriced, but that is a crazy price drop in a one day time period because of an 80,000 coin SBC. An 80,000 coin SBC and an Evo made his card drop that much. The market is kind of done for in this game, let's be completely honest, when we get SBCs like that specifically from yesterday. But what it did actually do was it created an opportunity to maybe trade a little bit. Like I bought a Zola. Uh, icon card for 320k i sold him for 360 or 370 on the way back up he had some nice rebounds the hero cards yesterday they didn't rebound kind of as well as i thought they would but honestly i, th I think that's because the pack weight was so good on those hero cards i mentioned in yesterday's video that i was hoping for a rebound and some of them did some of them did go back up a little bit but like futre he's one of the ones that went back up francesco went up like 30k Tevez is still low. Govu Alawaren's 315,000 coins. Like, that's crazy. He started the day yesterday at 370. He was multiple times at 370, and he's still down bad. The market in total and a lot of these prices in this game are down horrendous because of all the content that we got yesterday. And I just think how good the content was as well. And also, a lot of people are doing SBCs. Like, uh, think about how many SBCs you have out right now. Ledley King, Mohamed Salah, the Giroud has been great. It's just more and more and more of that coin drain that we've been seeing and talking about. And it's continually the reason why the market keeps dropping. Heading through this month of November, we're only not even halfway through it yet. And every single week, it just seems to get destroyed. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the market and maybe see some more rebounds and some good opportunities to buy like a card like that Musiala who's out of packs today for a Monday market rise. But first of all, let's get to the content at hand. That is the investments that we need to make guys i've already made some investments um the 85s that we invested in i still actually have mine 
the 85s that we bought um i still have those that i bought for 7.4k i did not sell them right away at content because we were opening packs looking at the market having a bunch of fun you could have sold them like right away at eight and a half to nine i think they're going to get back up to that eight and a half k range during the week this week because of the sbcs that we have coming but also what i've got done is gone out and done a bit of a club stock and put some extra 88 rateds on my transfer list because we are looking at fodder guys because of a big time player of the month sbc that is once again hopefully going to be coming this week we'll see it's it's got the most hype it's player of the month mbappe the voting has ended uh well technically the voting ends for me here in you know like an hour but the voting is going to be ending today for this and we're going to be getting the news of who's going to win this probably like i don't know tuesday or wednesday so there's a combination of things that we're looking for today right we're going to be starting to look for leaks legit leaks about an mbappe player of the month or whoever's going to win this award we think it's mbappe because of the the vote right because of the goals and number of matches and all that but one thing that we might get a little bit of a sneak peek on today would be the monday ea content tweet the last couple of weeks they've been doing these uh content tweets they say this week in ultimate team watch out for x y and z right they put the flashback sbc on there last week we had player of the month salah we had player of the month lautaro martinez centurion sbcs flashback drew the showdown for the nwsl championship uh, match i think we're going to get one more of these tweets today about two hours before content and if there is a la liga player of the month card shown on there and mentioned that will be a big not a confirmation, but it'll be a step in the right direction of us probably getting that Player of the Month Mbappe. And why does that SBC matter so much? Because a Player of the Month Mbappe would be something that people would literally drop everything and craft and work on, even though it would be millions of coins worth of value. It would be an SBC that people would go and do and literally just leave their entire club behind for. We would see the market probably drop, but specifically fodder would go up. This is the best gold card in the game, probably the best card in the game. And the fact that EA could potentially give him an SBC if he wins this award would be bananas. So with that being said, if you want to, it's a little risky, and I'm going to preface it by saying this. There's a very low risk investment for this week of content, and there's a bit of a higher risk. And the higher risk for this Mbappe Player of the Month investment is not that high, really, because there's other SBCs that are coming out in the next couple of weeks that could make the high-rated fodder go up more. But this is the, the investment for Mbappe. If you want to plan ahead, if you have, um, I mean, thoughts of doing that SBC, or if you just want to try to make some coins off of it, I like 87s and above. 87s are at 16K. That's a really low price. 88s, I just went and picked up a bunch of them on bid under 24,000 coins. 89s, I've been going through and club stocking some of these cards. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a combination of club stocking and investing, right? You saw some extra cards on my transfer list. Yes, I am doing that. But also what I'm doing is I'm going here and I'm buying one and I'm putting it in the club because when I'm doing that, I'm putting that card into my club and I'm ready for when the SBC comes because I think I'm going to do the Mbappe, right? So it's going to be something where I'm going to sell some of the stuff from the club, but also I would have the fodder already in there at a cheaper price to potentially get the SBC done easier. So it's a way you can invest and also like, make the SBC be cheaper for you at the exact same time. Like I'm going to try to pick up this Harry Kane for 47K. Love that. And a 90 rated Harry Kane. Well, I guess I already have in the club. Sick. I have two of those. But like, that's the sort of thing that I'll be doing right now. If you have a lot of coins and if you're looking to do play of the month in Bape is invest in the high rated fodder. Guys, this might be the lowest point for 88 rated, 89 rated, like the high rated fodder. This might be the lowest point before Black Friday when we had crazy price spikes last year. Because think about this. This is the graph of Bernardo Silva's 88 rated card last year. We're kind of in the same weekend this last that happened in FIFA 23 where this fodder went crazy. Because what we had was after this, we had the first uh, base icon pack that was released. And that made the fodder prices on the top tier go up. It went from 21,000 coins to 26K. And then, of course, we all remember what happened to Black Friday. There was that World Cup hero pack that made 88 rateds go to max price at like 50,000 coins, 48K for a couple of days, uh, and then come back down. I'm not saying that this sort of massive rise is going to happen again this year. That was kind of a anomaly honestly that was a really crazy situation that i don't know if that's going to happen again but you know could i see 88 rateds going up to like thirty thousand coins in the next two weeks i could so that's why i'm starting to invest right now and put some of my coins into these cards and again guys i'm not saying 
that this is something that you have to invest in. It's more of a riskier one because you might have to hold it for two weeks. If we don't get Player of the Month Mbappe, these prices will drop. These prices will drop if we don't get Player of the Month Mbappe this coming weekend. They will drop lower and there will be a little bit of pain. But all I'm saying is we've got an Icon SBC that is still upcoming, a Player of the Month Mbappe potential SBC that is coming as well. All signs point towards the high-rated fodder continuing to go up, not to mention that the high-rated fodder has been really steady over the past couple of weeks because we have, again, a Mohamed Salah player of the month, and it requires high-rated squads. If anybody is doing for line, you know, you need an 88-rated squad for that. You know, you've got icon SBCs that people are still completing, like Pirlo, Vidic, Beckham, Stoichkov, and Blanc that are still available for all of them 15 or more days. There's still a lot of demand for fodder, which is why I think that the high-rated stuff is a good look right now. And if you want less risk, we're done talking about the high rated. We've we've kind of exacerbated that as much as we can. Let's look at the low rated because this week as well. Remember what happened last week? 82. We were buying 83s last week at 2K to sell them at like 2.5 to 2.7 thousand coins. And 84s were like 5,000 coins. Well, here they are now at 3.3, 3.4K. These are also a really great investment because remember that one pack that we had added to the code that was like the 84 plus Road to Knockouts plus Trailblazer? That's a pack that could be coming this week on a Tuesday or a Wednesday that could make these cards go up as well. So if you want an even lesser risk of an investment, you know, an 85 plus pack could be coming out today. Um, you could look at an 84 rated for maybe that pack or that 84 plus double um, if they drop that again. There's really, really low risk if you're buying 83s at 1,200 or 1,300 coins and 84s at like 34 to 3,500 coins because I honestly think that these cards could all be like 4.5K. They could go up 1,000 coins a card or more than that like they did last week, and that would be an incredible, incredible investment slash trading opportunity this week because this is something that you can buy and just lazy list all week if you're playing evolutions games you're playing you know your rivals and stuff like that or even if you're not playing the game as much this is a safe investment for the week that you can be like okay i'm gonna put my coins in this relist it on the companion app or as i get onto the game every hour or every couple hours you know and that do that and kind of have to not think about trading or that as much if you want to do that this week on the game so that's why I'm really this I guys this is the most fodder I've ever had in 5 years of making YouTube videos and trading on this game semi seriously. Like this is the most fodder I think I've ever had. Like I've got a bunch of 85s, a bunch of 88s, I have got a bunch of fodder in the club too. The fodder accountant is back, but it's the best place to make coins right now. It honestly is. It's the best place in the best way to be making coins right now in this game. So that's the best investment I can tell you guys about right now is honestly the fodder and i think the sell time um you know we'll talk about it again throughout the week but the sell time right now looks like for the for the cards that are like the 83s and the 84s we'll probably be looking to sell those around like tuesday or wednesday and for the higher rateds it'll probably be later on in the week maybe even next week if we get an Mbappe player of the month and if we get that icon upgrade SBC that which could require like an 87 rated squad, right? That's kind of what I'm looking forward to for an SBC like that. And that can make the higher rated go up even further. So that's kind of going on there. And of course, our game crashes in the middle of the video. I absolutely love to see that. But let's turn the attention to today's content on Monday. As we said, we're going to get this EA tweet today with a little bit of information on it about what's going to be coming. We do have one leak and that is from Romania. He says that RTTK Bacha is coming this week, which we mentioned last week would make sense because the UWCL games are happening this week. And this is an SBC that a lot of people are kind of looking forward to and excited for. And if this car design were to show up onto this tweet from EA this week, that would be a true indication that the SBC is definitely coming. So a lot of people have started to invest in maybe those Lyon links. And that's just another SBC that could make some prices move. Be careful with your French left backs because, again, this is a French left back that has a lot of hype. Her gold card was very good in the early game. And a lot of people would be interested in that card today. But honestly, I think it's just going to be a day of upgrade packs probably on this game. Of course, we do have the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade that is still available. I'm still working through doing the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade, working through getting all those objectives done. But a lot of people have probably surpassed their limit on that already. They've already got this done or, or whatever the case may be. I think we will get some other sort of upgrade packs today. And that honestly helps the fodder rise. That helps 
people doing SBCs, whether it be a cheap SBC, like again, think about all the players that we had in the last week that are still SBCs that people are doing. Tiago Silva, I haven't even done him yet. Olivier Giroud, I just started him. The Ledley King, right? Uh, not to mention the other cheap player of the month. I mean, maybe Ali Watkins people are still interested in or the Anthony Gordon or the Ospos. Like, guys, there's so many. This is like the most insane amount of SBC players. Jude Bellingham is still out for 20 days and he's injured in real life right now. So this may be a bit better of an SBC to do and to craft if he's actually injured and not looking like he's going to be getting special cards, I've never seen this many player species in this game. It's absolutely nuts. So it's not for a lack of content. The quantity is there. Um, it's just, can EA keep up the quality as we get probably some more SBC players this week as well? Because Mondays have been days where we've gotten actual player SBC. So watch out for definitely um, another upgrade pack today. I hope it's like... I don't know, like an 80 plus pack or maybe a 78 plus double. I like the packs that give us more than one player. They could give us 75 plus player picks like last week as well. Um, and I would be interested to see how the pack weight out on these cards is out of player picks, right? We just had two weeks of promos with icons and packs. Now we've got heroes. I'd be very curious to see if like, you know, even, even a card like Dirk Kite, if he's halfway packable from upgrade packs or Morientes, it'd be very interesting to see how that works out today. Let's talk about the market just a little bit more. Maybe a bit of a Monday market rise potentially today um, could happen on some of these cards as well. What I would say is this is the time of the week as well where we start to look at this promo team and say, did you get your club stock? Did you club stock a Cockeré at this card because you need to? Did you club stock a Connor Gallagher as close to like, you know, maybe later on this week will be 12-5, but club stock one of these in the club for sure um greenwood would be a card that i would i mean she's basically the same price as fodder put one of those in the club uh athenia as well put one in the club but then for these cards today i've made really good coins this weekend trading with tiago and with Grealish. yesterday i bought tiago right here for 88 to 89 thousand coins and i actually sold them around right here with some chem styles for like 97 to 107 he he did go down a lot during content he was at 82k and he's back up i do think that some of these cards could rise today if you're going to trade with meta cards on this game i know that i broke this rule already by buying a trailblazers harry kane but I would not buy Strikers unless it's a very rare card because, guys, I mean, yes, this Kane is very rare. It looks like he's about to be 270 get, uh, here again, which is very nice. But Strikers are just getting destroyed. I sold three Morientes on Saturday morning for 190, 190,000 coins, and now my guy is 85K. Govu is down a lot. It, strikers everywhere in this game are just getting dusted. Correa, I don't know if you guys have seen the Correa card. I think I actually have one of these still that I forgot to sell. But Centurion's Correa has gone from over 115,000 coins to being under like 70,000 coins on this game. It's crazy the amount that this guy has dropped off just because of Giroud. Um, and then, of course, we had the Forlan yesterday. Strikers and center backs are just mudded right now in this game because we've gotten so many in SBCs recently. So that's why I'm taking a look at cards like the Usman Dembele. And what I would look at today if you're going to try to buy anything for a market rise is I would look at out of packs. And technically, this Usman Dembele is out of packs because he has the inform that is in packs right now. And the fact that he is down so much and such a meta card. I mean, links. if Bacho were to come out today, he's French, right? Giroud is French. We have PSG cards in the promo team. That's kind of why I like this Usman as well. I could see him being like 53 to 54,000 coins, hopefully this morning. I'm not expecting a massive market rise though. I will say like we're still in November, right? Let's not forget that we are in a month where prices historically do not do very good. But out of packs cards like that, Musiala is such a buy, man. That's a crazy price. Other Centurions that are low. Pedri is stupid cheap right now. From what I'm seeing, 180K, that is mental. Um, you know, that sort of stuff is what I would trade with today. Other out of packs, who is low from this? Let's see. Um, looks like R Ronaldo dropped a lot yesterday. He's not that low, though. You know what, guys? Don't sleep on the informs. I always sleep on Team of the Week cards because I'm like, ah, we'll look at the promos. They're hype, right? Erling Holland at 617k or yeah 618 he's probably going to go back to like 670 it's Holland he does that like every single day yesterday he was 630 boom 685 what was he Saturday 635 670 so he goes between like 620 630 and 670 every single day and right now he's 618 so that's a card that I would keep an eye on 
And then definitely some of the Road to the Knockouts too, because those are still some of the most rare cards in the game that have amazing price fluctuations. Joao Pedro is a striker, but he was down. He kind of rebounded back up. Lewandowski is 540 again, another striker, but uh, coming back up a little bit. Modric was a card that people traded with yesterday. So the, the market, oh my gosh, Saka was 800. He's now 870 again. War a rise for him. So the rare cards are is the place to be. That is the place to be right now in this game. Out of packs, informs. Uh, I watched Inform Salah yesterday go from, oh, he's back down again. Eyes emoji, 520. He was 570. He did a nice fluctuation down to like 520 and then back up to 570. And it looks like right now he's 520 again. So that's the sort of things that I'd watch out for in the market today if you're going to trade and invest a little bit. Um, you can have those flips out and sold by the content drop today on Monday if you want to. I don't like that, Usman, because I just bought it without a chem style on it. I wanna make sure I buy all these if I can with a chem style and I'm gonna pay 46.5 max. So I'm gonna pick up a couple, ooh, a hunter? Can I buy this with a hunter please and not bid on it? Oh, it was too slow bro, it was too slow. Oh, too slow again, look at me. Um, too slow on the Usmans. I did get uh, 11 win rewards. We're gonna open those today on the stream. So hopefully we can get something decent there. It was a struggle this weekend. That Actually, that's what I wanna end the video and talk a little bit about is, this weekend feels like it's a gameplay grind week. And I'm not saying there's, you know, there's a lot of content to look forward to as well. But I think a lot of us just feel the gameplay grind is we got things to do. We got evolutions to do. We got to get a rivals wins. There's no cup, I don't think, this week. Um, but it just feels like we, we got kind of have to get those games in. And it might just be a bit of a grindy week. We'll have to see. Hopefully EA drops some good upgrade packs today. But the gameplay was just not a good experience this weekend. I don't know how your guys' weekend leagues went. But it was painful over here. We did get the 11 wins, but it was a struggle to get there. So uh, let's end off the video as well. I have to flex this. I have to. Uh, because yesterday, I opened a 50k pack from some milestone reward. I got Forlan, of course, in the hero pack. He's kind of a mid card, I can't lie. Played weekend league with him. He was okay. But a Betty Pele was who we packed. A 400,000 coin hero untradeable. A better hero than what I got from the actual hero pack, but we packed a first owner of Betty. The team is looking saucy at the moment. Um, and yeah, that just that went boom straight into our team. We've got Sun, who's just absolutely cooking as always. We've got Joe Cole, club legend. I've got so many heroes on my team. I've only packed one bad hero this year. It's, it's Cahill. I got McManaman from one of the hero upgrades as well. I've had insane hero luck this year. So the team is looking nutty, and uh, I need to do Tiago Silva. He might slot in there for Militao. We'll have to see if I end up doing that. I got to work on evolutions. That's my gameplay ground this week, guys, is I got to work on the Chris Richards and the Alessandrini because I got two days to get them done, and I got to do some games. I'm going to have to do some squad battles. got to do a little bit of maybe rivals as well because I've been slacking on these, and I got them both active right now, so I got to I gotta take advantage. got to take advantage of that. So that's kind of the video for me today, guys. Get those investments in if you would like to, and... Um, also, there are a lot of objectives to grind, to be honest. Like, I just fi finished one part of the Madison. So there is a grind to put in this week if you want to do so. But I also know a lot of people are like, you know what? Let me just buy some fodder and step away from the game for a minute. And just to chill out a bit. I completely understand that as well. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.